Silence with Mr. Lincoln. Spencer County, Indiana, in my eighth year. It was a wild region, with many bears and other wild animals still in the woods. There I grew up. I was large for my age, and had an axe put into my hands at once. And from that to my 23rd year, was almost constantly handling that most useful instrument. I think that the aggregate of all my schooling did not amount to one year. At 21, I came to Illinois. Thought of trying to study law. Rather thought I could not succeed at that without better education. I borrowed some law books, took them home, and went at it in good earnest. In 1854, the law profession had almost superseded the thought of politics in my mind when the repeal of the Missouri Compromise aroused me as I had never been before. What I have done since then is pretty well known. If any personal description of me is thought desirable, it may be said I am in height, six feet, four inches, nearly, lean in flesh, weighing on an average of 180 pounds, dark complexion, with coarse black hair and gray eyes, and no other marks or brands recollected. Yours very truly, A. Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln became president faced with a terrible threat of civil war, a thing he dreaded, yet a calamity he was prepared to meet if he must. Civil war, violent, devastating. 
devastating. Now had come the reckoning, the supreme test that would decide whether a republic founded on liberty could survive the terrible strife of men's passions. Oh, Lord. 